Watch. Well, as questions mount after the toxic train derailment in East Palestine, Ohio, rail safety is top of mind for us in the mid-state because the mid-state is a huge hub for freight train traffic. These days, local first responders are making sure they're prepared for the worst. Our Brian Munoz joins us live in Lancaster tonight. Hey, Brian. Hi, Alicia. Trains pass through Lancaster County all the time, often carrying hazardous materials. Though there is no way to control what comes across the nearly 135 miles of train lines, the Ohio disaster has sparked conversation locally. The Lancaster County Emergency Management Agency is constantly preparing for situations like this, training local responders and emergency services on the many what-ifs. Ben Herskowitz says the train derailment in East uh, Palestine does offer some lessons. He says communication is key. What resources do we have in this county and, you know, how do we communicate with those folks? Do we have radios that can communicate with the hazmat team we bring in from York? Can we talk to the folks in Maryland? And the answer in some of those cases is no. So we then say, okay, well, what do we need to do to bring in? And then we bring in those people in advance. Lancaster County is not immune to railroad accidents. In fact, there were three serious ones in the last two decades, including one involving, involving an acid, um, what was it, an acid leak uh, back in Marietta in 2000. I'll have more tonight on ABC 27 News at 6. Live in Lancaster, Brian Munoz, ABC 27 News.